Okay. <laughs> well, I'm a player. They said you did the unthinkable, but I think that you did what you thought was a good idea. They say player, groom, a groom, he was... That means that you're finna be in holy matrimony. My condolences, um, a groom shoots his friend. They say 20 minutes after the wedding because he was under the belief that they was having an affair. This is after they tied the knot. Holy matrimony is what they call it. Let me put a little quick thing on up here. Shout out to everybody who in love and all that flash shit right there. Listen, I'm Willie Williams. Appreciate y'all for joining me. Please remember to go around to the WillieWilliamsShow.com. Check out a few things. If you'd like to see what we call the event videos, please go around to the OnlyFans, the Willie Williams Show. Let me let y'all hear what these folk got to say. And another shooting caused chaos on the Bonnie Carey spillway late last night. It happened near the off-ramp to the I-310 south while cars were stuck in stalled traffic behind a crash. Our partners at the Times Picayune New Orleans Advocate report that the suspect was a groom still in his tuxedo on his way home from his wedding. He apparently accused his new wife and a friend in the car of having an affair and started shooting. The friend jumped out of the car and began to run before he was shot in the leg. Another person was also hit. The wife ran to the ambulance attending to the crash and hid. State police and the St. John Parish Sheriff's Office are investigating. Police arrested the groom, 30-year-old Devin Jones. He'll be charged with attempted second-degree murder and aggravated battery. That's what's up, listen. And another I just got like, like a quick, quick question. Uh, um, was it some said inside the car that put you under the belief that they was in an entanglement? Is that what happened, or did you have this thought before you had and got married and thought that you could just hold it together, suck it on up, and go it on and be a holy matrimony? Is that what happened, or did you think, or did you know before the wedding, and you was like, well, if I shoot <laughs> after I'm married, then something different like it happened um, in the courts or something like that? I am confused. You got to ask yourself also, why do we always – Take it out on the person that we have no type of um, agreement with. That's not right. You were supposed to fail right into a domestic love relationship. You know what I'm saying? And whoop the bitch or something. Then, 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 throw a bitch out the car to show that you love him. You know, something like that. Stab a bitch. Jump. You know what I'm saying? Like something like that, but really like miss like all the real arteries and stuff. Don't, don't, don't to kill them they ain't, that ain't love you know what i'm saying but show her express yourself but you done gave my monkey up and shit but you throw in up like we teach around here you know what i'm saying to 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 to, to show your real love see in this instance you was showing us that you really don't love her you mad at your partner you know what i'm saying you mad at your goddamn party? It must have been something said inside that car to me. I'm just saying. But she was able to go in on it, jump on that, run away. You ain't shoot at that motherfucker, but you shot at your partner. Shot the partner in the leg and shit. Well, let me explain exactly what's going to happen. They going to hunt you again. If, if they is hunting or if they had done, did a little something, you know what I'm saying? Um, they going to do it again because now you finna go down to the resort. Well, you done already been down to the resort. You done took a little Instagram photo. That's what's up. Um, you ain't going to be able to hunt her no more You because you finna be gone and they finna build like a whole life together because they traumatized. So they're going to need each other's shoulder to lean on and stuff so they could talk about the things that they had done went through and once they sit on the couch hugging and um consoling one another embracing one another and stuff like we typically turn face to face and the gaze that be in our eyes because you know we both traumatized um and then we kind of i don't know how we lean into it and get somebody some sugar or something and then our clothes come off and we be just Skeeting there, well peeing in a bit. You know what I'm saying? Because we traumatized and stuff like that. But you ain't really got to worry about it no more. And I'm just saying, if you were really that concerned that somebody had, that your partner had to hunch your wifey, in my mind, should not be job perfect. <laughs> Damn it, should have not though. Because now she can hunch who she want to hunch. If you that mad about a hunch or something else other than you. Just in my mind, I don't think you should have took it out on your friend because, remember, he's your friend. That's what's up. Y'all be careful out in the goddamn street. This is why I promote domestic love relationships.
not these non non domestic love relationship because then people be like shooting at people and stuff and they don't be taking it out on the person that they is in 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 in, in a in a um agreement with this is a problem that's what's up i appreciate y'all for rocking i'm out